you don't have a MIDI controller to use with Logic for iPad, you'll definitely want to check out the different play surfaces. These include a keyboard that can be scale locked, drum pads for recording beats, a guitar fretboard, and guitar strips. But the play surface I want to focus on mainly are the chord strips. Prior to Logic for iPad, the only way to use these in Logic was with Logic Remote. But now you can use these right inside of Logic, and they're a great way to enter in full chords with a single tap of your finger. Now, to record in my sample alchemy instrument, I could use my MIDI controller. I could click down here to open up the keyboard, and I could play in here as well. One of the cool things about the built-in keyboard is you can actually scale lock it. So if you click here, you can activate the scale lock and then you can choose a key. So if I only want notes for C natural minor, I can totally do that. So it's only gonna give me a C minor scale, but playing it on a keyboard like this on iPad is, is not exactly the most, intu uh, it's pretty intuitive, but it's not the easiest thing to do. Um, so what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna use a different play surface. And you can do that by clicking over here. So you have your keyboard, you have drum pads for uh, your drum instruments, you have a guitar fretboard, you have guitar strips, but the main one I'm gonna be using here is chord strips. Um, this allows you to play whole chords and you can set the key so all of the chords can be diatonic. Now, right now, this is set to C major so my song right now is in C minor. So in order to change the strips, I'm going to come up to my key up here and click, and I'm going to change the key from C major to C minor. And you'll see that the chord strips change to match the key of the song. Now, the way the chord strips work is the notes at the bottom of the strip are individual like bass tones. And then each of these are individual triads in different inversions. So you can use higher or lower inversions. So let's try that. I'm not exactly sure what chords to play, but let's, let's try this out. And what that does is it plays in whole chords. So I can open this up in the MIDI editor and you'll see that it doesn't just enter in one note, kind of like the chord trigger would. Now it looks to me like my quantization value is gonna be a half note. So I'm gonna go over to my inspector here and with that region selected, go to quantize and select a half note. Now all of my notes have been quantized. So let's hear what this sounds like in context. Let's go ahead and just cycle that. Maybe pull it back in the mix a bit. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. And please let me know in the comments below what other Logic Pro for iPad tutorials you'd like to see. I plan on doing full tutorials for Beat Breaker and Sample Alchemy very soon, so definitely subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on when those tutorials go live. As always, thank you so much for the support, and thanks for watching.